Okay, so to continue, the space station is fake. There's no explanation for why the astronauts are transparent. There's no explanation for the green screen glitches, harnesses, augmented virtual reality, bubbles on spacewalks. There's no explanation for any of it, other than it's movie magic, brought to you by your government. It's phony. There's no reason in 2019 for anybody here to see claymation and think it's real. You shouldn't see old Godzilla footage, you know, a Godzilla movie, and think, wow, I'm glad they took care of that beast. That thing was so real, so believable when it shoots the lasers out of its eyes. I just wouldn't want to confront that here in America. I'm glad the Japanese took care of it. Like, if you saw somebody treating Godzilla as real, you would say, well, hey, man, you are reality impaired. If somebody was watching some old black and white films with rear screen projection where the cavemen are throwing rocks at the screen and it's a big fake dinosaur, you know, you would feel sorry for someone who thought that was real. You'd say, hey, look, that's fake. But maybe a hundred, you know, a hundred years ago, that stuff would look realistic. But things have moved forward. So you shouldn't be convinced by claymation. You shouldn't be convinced by rear screen projection. And you shouldn't be convinced by green screen, by AVR, by CGI. You shouldn't be. CGI, claymation, rear screen projection, cartoon, not real. So here we have an astronaut who is transparent. And all of the defenders of the space station who have been here this morning in the chat room, who have been watching, refuse to address this. They tell me, go watch the high-def footage. Go watch this one. Go watch that one. It's like, hey, look, instead of telling me to read Bible verse, because that's what they're doing, they're making arguments from authority. Well, obviously you don't believe in God because you didn't read Genesis. Or you would believe in the resurrection if you just read the New Testament. Just read this verse. It's like, no, man, I could read the verse, but I'm not going to believe it. So I can watch the video, but I'm not just going to believe it. I'm going to analyze it. So here I am analyzing footage from your fake space station, and I see a transparent astronaut. So... Anybody who believes in the space station willing to make a comment about the transparent astronaut, please do. Please do. Crickets, though. Look. Nothing but crickets. It's so inconvenient for them to have to acknowledge facts, isn't it? Here's a contradiction in your worldview. Here's a Bible verse that doesn't comport. Here is an inherent, internal, irreconcilable contradiction. You cannot reconcile this with anything. You cannot explain this away. NASA Logic says, that's not the video. Oh, this isn't the one that you found really convincing. He's like, oh, that's not the right interpretation. you got to get the King James Version. That's why. No, you don't get a change Bible on me, NASA logic. You don't get a change Bible on me. You don't get to move the goalposts. This is your Bible. You believe what you see on TV presented to you by your priests of scientism. Your high priests have brought you this. This is one of the miracles that they have shown you. This is one of their elevated, ascended masters. This is a high priest of your space cult. And I can see right through them. And I want you to explain to me what causes this. Is it dark matter? Is it ions? Is it that they're moving so fast? Did they pass by a wormhole? How come I can see through the astronaut? Will somebody please enlighten me? One of you NASA fanboys, you know, every time you see a CGI probe land on a CGI ball, you get up and you do the patty cake, patty cake happy dance. You cheer like it's a big accomplishment. Like when you watch the football games, you know, we have the Super Bowl coming up. People watch the Super Bowl, and then one of the guys spikes the ball. 
and the ones on that side jump up and scream and they high five and they say we we did it look we did it we scored a touchdown uh no you didn't you're on your couch eating potato chips that athlete did it wasn't you One second, I'm looking at the comments. The guy's response, he says, oh, come on. He won't answer. We went to space. No, we didn't. You know, people keep, they, they accept everything secondhand. They kind of immerse themselves in it. And so they see the moon landing and the space station. These are collective accomplishments. It's cultural vanity. We landed on the moon. No, we didn't. You sat down on your couch and you ate potato chips. And you watched people on a TV screen pretend to land on the moon. And you found it convincing. They keep saying you got to watch the 4K one hour long. That's the exact same thing as saying you've got to read the King James Version. Then you'll believe. Then you'll know. No, I'm sorry. I am rejecting the authority of your video footage as evidence in itself. And if you're going to posit video footage as evidence, then you have to explain this piece of video footage brought to you by the same ones who gave you the 4K one hour long special. And if you let them move the goalpost, then they'll just wait and wait until they developed a better green screen tech or they have better CGI effects. You see, they're trying to move the goalpost. They don't want to look at these old glitches. We're only giving him 10 more seconds. So insult generator. If you cannot be honest enough to even just type the word transparent, admit that this is transparent. If you cannot do that, we're just going to put a ban on your account here. I'm just putting this up here to demonstrate to my viewers how dishonest religious people can be intellectually dishonest, highly emotional, volatile, angry, violent, cruel, mean, bigoted. All these adjectives apply to the hardcore believers in the space program. And who knows what these people do for a living? They're not going to outer space. But why are they defending it so hard? It's pretty funny, actually. Like, we think it's funny that you believe this stuff. We really do. Like, you have to. I can look at this and I can be honest. I'm an honest person. I'm like, well, that's fake. I can see through the astronaut. But those of you believers in the system, it's a system of lies. You have to lie to yourself. And you have to say, it's real. Ooh, look what he wrote. Here we go. He finally addressed it. He said, you're an imbecile. Yeah, that's transparent. Okay, so he admits it's transparent. So he's claiming that Mark Sargent faked this footage. Uh, no, uh, clearly you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let's move on. We already made the point the space station is fake. None of these people can defend it. Game over. Game over for the space station. Vice.com Space Force shows Steve Carroll this is an office creator. Here we go. One second. You know what? Let me go ahead and just kill this really quick. 